it was an electric presence on the stage, but you know, he took no prisoners. They all accept him as a rare thing, a great actor. The only thing I saw him doing was on my habit, where he played the wee Belfast guy. <laughs> Cyril had joined the Abbey, I think in the 30s, you know, so he he had had a, a moment of working with the old greats, you know, F.J. McCormick, Barry Fitzgerald, wonderful, wonderful actors, you know, and and so he, he, in some sense, was part of that tradition, and then he grew through that into being international figure, you know. The, the Abbey were lucky to have Cyril, he was an electric presence on the stage you know but you know he took no prisoners <laughs> and most of us were brought up to respect the space of the other actor i don't believe cyril ever thought that way he was behaving as a stereotypical irish man he must have riled them a bit you know you know cyril had a responsibility towards the Irish canon, you know. He played play by the Western world often on stage, and also the Chacron. Of course he did everything in the English canon too. Just a sublime actor, really, you know, and he did the whole range of it. I think he had a disdain for anybody that was um, not himself, you know. Uh, I mean, I'm certainly believed that his view of the play his interpretation was superior to anyone in the, in the entire theater tradition you know i remember at one point i was doing a play and Sinead, his daughter was in it with me and she directed me a bit you know so i said to sarah well Sinead uh, directed me in this he said mm, she, she she might have a bit of talent in that direction mm -hmm. you know in other words, she couldn't act. <laughs> you know, he, he wouldn't let it go, you know. It, it, very, it must be very hard for, for them. As a rare thing, a great actor, he's um, exceptionally special.